Hello there, and you're welcome to Lagos South 50 Gala Night here at the State House. Lagos State was created on May 27, 1967, and Saturday marks the D-Day that the state clock 50. And there are people in there, former governors, present governors across the country, former ministers and present ministers have all come in with other well wishes. I've come to felicitate with the state at 50. This is not just about celebration, but the celebration of achievements of the state so far is what this event is all about. This is Inside Lagos. I'm Ade Dodja, Salam Ade Niyi, and you're welcome to the show. <laughs> This is an event like no other. It is the D-Day that the Lagos State is celebrating its 50th anniversary and it is the gala night here at the State House. And we have the message board here at the entrance where this event is going on, where people write different messages about Lagos State. Like this one now said, says, um, to my lovely state, glorious days ahead. And then um, there is another one I read here from one Suki. Um, okay, let, let me quickly take um, another one. Congratulations to our dear state, Ade Dodja. Oh, my namesake, Ade Dodja or Teodola. The former first lady of Lagos State, I know her very well. On the board, acting president Yemi Oshibadu, who was one time attorney general and commissioner for justice in Lagos, wrote, My Lagos are Lagos. Congrats. Well, we are going to write our own too inside Lagos crew, and let me get a marker for that. Okay, thank you so much. And from inside Lagos crew now, um, Lagos State, our center, our center of excellence. Happy birthday inside uh, Lagos crew. And that is from us. But a lot of people are in there. Foreigners have come to celebrate and felicitate with Lagos at 50. Let's see what is going on. Civilian Governor of Lagos State, Haji Latif. It's a day of joy, and this hall is filled to capacity with the who is who in Nigeria and beyond. Business moguls, captains of industry, royal fathers, members of different political parties, and critics see this event as general assembly. They believe Lagos is their land of success stories, and this is beyond political differences. Hence, they need to come together as Lagos boys and girls to celebrate the state at 50. In his welcome address, Secretary to the State Government, Tunji Belo, said, 50 years is a significant landmark in the life of any individual, institution, or state. For Lagos State, it has been an event for 50 years, which deserves to be fittingly celebrated. Lagos is making progress today because it is a melting pot. We have always welcomed everyone to live, to trade, to work, to explore, and to enjoy. Out of this, we have become stronger. Enterprising and always looking for towards prosperity. This is a lovely spirit, and it is that spirit with which we celebrate our sojourn. All these, our government since 1967, big military or civilian, have embraced and have continued to embrace. From this, we have consistently made progress. We have excelled 
even when the nation is surmounting challenges, without prejudice to the culture of the military in governance and administration of the state. The first civilian government of His Excellency, Latin Latin Jack Conde, set the template and the ball rolling for the development of proactive and progressive governance in the state. And this has never departed the state of Lagos for any reason. Beginning from 1999, to be precise, the last 18 years of our dear state have witnessed radical and sustainable development, which are great testimonies of progressive governance, as piloted by Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu, built further by Governor Babatini Raji Fashola, and now being consolidated upon by Governor Akiumi Ambodi. The state, as a microcosm of the, all that is jolly, beautiful, noble, and great, has emerged as one of the fastest growing economies in Africa. The future promises even greater advancement, as legal works with focus towards becoming a smart city, commercial and industrial hub in South Saharan Africa. Brigadier Mubalaji Johnson has seen it all. He was the governor of the state when it was created in 1967. He is privileged to witness the 50th anniversary of the state. So is the first executive governor of Lagos, Palatif Jakonde. Governor Emeritus Bala Ahmed Tinubu's joy is boundless as he's seen the Lagos of his dreams. For Buba Marua, the 11th governor of Lagos State, to see Lagos, his baby growing, is a thing of joy. Well, I would like to give my congratulations for this memorable 50th anniversary. The governor is doing very, very well. We wish him more successes, greater and enhanced development, more peace, more security, and prosperity. That's my prayers. Lagos is the land of opportunities, offering all residents the chance to succeed in their vocations and endeavors. The state provides jobs to more people than any other state in sub-Saharan Africa. People who told us their success stories say, Lagos is that land where you have a chance to make it if you work hard. Nigeria's acting president, Yemi Oshibajo, Saturday night said, the quest to create a greater and more prosperous Nigeria lies in the prosperity of Lagos State, describing the state as the foremost migrant community in Nigeria, aggregating talents from everywhere, and the undisputable commercial capital of Nigeria, amounting for more than 70% of business in the country. Why is Lagos so successful? And I think Governor Ambode put his finger on it. Lagos accepts everyone. But more importantly, it accepts for business in particular. Anyone who has an idea, a dream, and some determination. It is the foremost migrant community in Nigeria, aggregating talent from everywhere. None of us could have dreamed of today sitting in the cabinet of Lagos in 1999, there was no way we could ever have imagined that the time would come when there would be a vice president who would have served in that cabinet. We were in the opposition for 16 years. But there is something about that spirit of Lagos. There is something about that determination. And that determination and the grace of God above all has brought us here. I did not, and I'd never met Bola Tinubu uh, before I was appointed commissioner. And I think it says a lot for the kind of individual that he is. This is the kind of thinking that makes nations great. That is the kind of thinking that will make Nigeria great. The type of thinking that takes into account all of our diverse talents. The kind of thinking that does not allow parochialism, that does not allow us to say that anywhere belongs to only a set of people. That way our country will be truly great. The FIRS, that's the Federal Inland Revenue Service, led of course by Tunde Fowler of Lagos, released an important statistic. It said that there are 914 Nigerians who pay self-assessed tax 
of over 10 million naira. Only 914 Nigerians pay self-assessed tax of over 10 million naira. Of that 914, 912 are from Lagos. The other two are from Ogun State. None from anywhere else. And every day that we see the giant strikes that Aki Ume Ambode is making here in Lagos, every day that we watch television and see the new vistas that he's opening up, there's evidence of the fact that surely in this Lagos state lies the seed of the great Nigeria of our dreams. And I want you to, and I want us all, and I want us all to give this Lagos state a massive round of applause. Happy birthday, Lagos. You permit me to just romance a little bit about Lagos. For the chief celebrator, Lagos governor, Akimu Miambode, a poetry of romance will not be bad for the center of excellence. Lagos, the smallest, the richest, the oldest, untouched or divided since creation, most populous, most prosperous, most cosmopolitan, a state with vibrant energy and its unique soul, highly receptive to both hardworking and lazy people. Land of opportunities. In Lagos, fortune favors the brave. There are many cities across the world with Lagos as their name, but our own Lagos is the most promising, a center of excellence. Welcome to the capital of prosperity. Today, as we celebrate 50 years of greatness in Lagos, we are conscious of the fact that we also stand on the cusp of history, and it is our responsibility to make the next 50 years even more productive and memorable, worthy of bigger celebration by those who will come after us. The governor also noted that the future of Lagos is clear and bright as the next 50 years holds greater prosperity for Lagosians. Fellow Lagosians, the vision for the future is very clear. We foresee a smart city much more in line with the other great cities in the world. Where clean and decent living, seamless and efficient transportation, as well as sustainable environmental practices are the norm rather than the exception. Your Excellencies, I join millions of Lagosians to appreciate and commend our past governors, 13 of them, for their selfless service to the state and the nation. I want to sincerely wish Mr. President Muhammad Buhari a quick recovery. We all know about his love for Lagos and undoubtedly would have been here if he was around. To the acting president, Professor Yemi Oshibadu, your contributions to the growth and development of Lagos State are legendary. To demonstrate this, you flew in from Italy just an hour ago to be with us tonight. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. <laughs> to all our fathers and mothers, we cannot be more grateful for bequeathing to us a great state that is destined for global attention. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we are prepared and we are able. We are confident that with today's efforts, we stand on the right side of history, the history of a greater Lagos, as we begin the journey of the next 50 years. Marking the 50th anniversary of the creation of Lagos State, we're going to do the count of 1, 10, 25. This is not just a celebration, but a celebration of achievements of Lagos State for the past 50 years. I must tell you, the development plan of Lagos, we have just crashed the surface. By the grace of God, as we progress, we are going to see great things, new development, new growth in this great state. The economy of Lagos has grown from what it used to be. Today, we know how much we, uh, Lagos, in terms of resources that we're
getting and how much, of course, we are, we are using them for the development and growth of the state. And of course, making society better for everyone and the citizens of Lagos. I'm sure they're happy for me. By the grace of God, the next 50 years is going to be a wonderful time. City and has recorded more successes, more developments, giant strides than even when it was capital city, which means that the things that drive Lagos, the things that make Lagos thick are internal, are within. It's about the quality and the caliber of the leaders that Lagos has been blessed with. Yes, things might have changed, but they have changed for the better. Uh, they have changed because Lagos has molded its destiny in a manner that it has become the pride of not just Nigeria and Africa, but the pride of the entire black race. So we are celebrating because there's substance, there's something worth celebrating. Lagos has been the rallying point of the country, economically and otherwise, especially from the time or time of uh, His Excellency Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinumbu, who actually created the platform uh, of which uh, his Excellency Raji Fashola built of one. And then the Wonder Boy, His Excellency Mr. Akimumi Dako Ambode. I have never seen this type of development in just two years of an administration in Lagos State. This is unprecedented. So we have every cause to thank God, we have every cause to celebrate. Lagos at 50 would afford the state opportunity to celebrate its past achievements and showcase to the world its immense potential from future growth and development. The Akimumi Ambode administration is determined and committed to fully explore all the possibilities presented by this moment to lay a solid foundation for another glorious and prosperous 50 years. We salute the, 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 the governor of Lagos, is somebody. He's doing wonders. Forget about politics. We need to say it as it is. Ambody is working. Lagos is working. Governor Kimi Ambody has a natural talent for converting that comparative nothing into something. You see his achievement in all the sectors. You see his achievement in the infrastructure renewal of Lagos State. You see his achievement in the smart city operation of Lagos State, then when you compare everything, you see that the mass actually don't work. We need to thank God for that. I'm happy to be associated with Lagos State. I'm the president of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and the, the government is always listening to us, the private sector. They provide an enabling environment for businesses to thrive in Lagos State. With all sorts of humility, I was also part of Lagos State government for three years, uh, three and a half years, I was the chief of staff 
the governor of um, Lagos is as well as And um, we came in at a time after the military has spent you know, you know, decades in power and we really had to reinvent Lagos. And I think uh, it's the credit of Ashwaju that uh, his bold vision, his passion and his commitment laid the foundation for what we have today as modern Lagos. What's the message for the Lagosians? You see, are in the part of their own. Lagos State is not just a state. Lagos State is like a country. It has probably one of the most powerful economies in the whole of West Africa. So we only wish Lagos State you know, better days ahead. Oh, the difference is remarkable. You talk of 1967. That time we were just uh, more or less under the military and growth under the ministry is certainly slower because they are they, under the military they respond to the program under a civilian government they respond to the um, aspiration of the people therefore i know we made a lot more progress i've been as a senator of the federal republic of nigeria lagos west when lagos was 50. I have a story to tell and I have something to share to my kids while growing up that I was a senator when Lagos was at 50. Lagos is in its pride of place and it's going higher and higher and higher. And we can only pray and wish Lagos a happy birthday. My story is not complete without Lagos. That is just the thing. And I'm grateful, you know, for those of us indigenous of Lagos that we call ourselves lucky. And uh, Lagos is just where to be. And when you look at the story of Lagos, it's the story Nigeria should learn from. You can see what is going on with Governor Ambody building on the foundation laid by Ashiwa Jubala Abentinu. I call it positive continuity. At the count of Lagos, L A S L A G O S, Lagos. That's our whole Lagos coming to be like this. What God has been able to do for us is by His grace. Not, the, not our power or might, but by His mercy and His grace. And that's what we are doing, thanking Him. And like Oliver Twist, we are still praying to Him to give us the enablement to do more. come and honor my state and I this state also trained me. So why shouldn't I be grateful? Forget about the politics. But the young man and all of us must work together and make Lagos the only state in this country where all the others were emulators. You know I congratulate him and all the people. Both, both in their party and our party and all those who are not politicians. My message is that we must continue to think big, 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 big thinking and big ideas. Bring this kind of development that we have seen in Lagos. So those coming behind us must continue to think big, ensure they maintain the peace and the tranquility of Lagos. We, in Lagos is a state where we don't discriminate. We don't discriminate against foreigners. We don't discriminate on religious basis. We embrace everybody as brothers and sisters. And I think that attitude must continue. Hell, six books were inaugurated at the event, including Historical Perspective of Lagos, Lagos City in Progress, Lagos is moving. Lagos is the state to be. White Lagos, among others.
Yes, it's been years of achievements, years of improvements, years of different success stories to tell from different angles. And that is our Lagos, the center of excellence. And that is our show for today. Many thanks for being a part of it. I'm Adedoja Salam Adeni. On behalf of my crew, we wish Lagos State happy birthday. See you next time. Bye-bye.